I don't even have words for this book. Hello everybody and welcome back to World's Finest. In this review I'll be talking about House of M issue number three. I don't know how I feel about this book because as I'm reading it there are points in this book where I'm like this book could be interesting and then there are points in this book where I feel like this is something maybe Michael should have read because it involves Magneto. So in the last issue Magneto was shot or stabbed with the device that basically nullifies his power. So he's completely powerless now. And at the same time, Namor invaded. So Lorna, still having her powers, is able to uh, save herself, her father, and the Resistance members. And the only reason why Magneto doesn't kill them is because he wants to know if there's a way to get his powers back. So they escape into the city. Uh, Pietro shows up, Quicksilver, and basically can't find the body. So he is, assumes the role as king of Genosha. Uh, his sister obviously ruling by his side, which she doesn't know at first. And um, Magneto's really just, everything's fallen down. There was the resistance that attacked him, that Moore attacked him, the sun attacked him. Uh, you had the, the Deathlocks that attacked him as well. Um... It was crazy. The artwork in this book, however, though, is amazing in every single panel. When, um, what's her name, um, Scarlet Witch goes to see her brother, she is not taking no for an answer. She demands to see him ASAP. She does. They team up temporarily, so to speak. And now, because Pietro is making it look like the humans killed Magneto, anybody who even looks like they're friends with the Resistance is being taken into a camp. So now it's up to the Resistance with the help of Magneto and Lorna along with Death Locket um, to free the humans, overthrow Pietro, and basically have Magneto take over Genosha again or at least knock Pietro off of his feet. And then you see there's a, there's a nice scene with, um, with uh, Quicksilver and Namor at the beginning of the book where Namor's like, there's no body. We need to find the body to prove that Magneto is legitimately dead. And Quicksilver's like, don't worry, we'll deal with it, we'll handle it. And Namor says, as long as um, Quicksilver can do whatever, he doesn't mind Atlantis, you know, having Pietro as their king and Namor as, you know, the next in line. So, really good. It's a good book, but again, it's something that you need to have an investment in certain characters for. I love the Namor scene, I love the Scarlet Witch scenes. Um... I don't like the way they're using the X-Men where basically Logan is a no-brain security guard for Magneto or like the Red Battalion to protect the mutants. I don't know. That just puts a sour taste in my mouth. Uh, the Resistance really cool though and I really like... It's interesting where the next book goes. I believe there's two more issues of this until it's over. I'll probably stick with it all the way to the end but... Um, middle tier book for me when it comes to the Secret War books. There's the lower tier, which there aren't too many there. There's the middle tier where there's a good, where there's a, about a half amount there, and then there's a lot. that There's a few that really get that top tier books, and we're going to be getting into some of those as, the, as we conclude this week's uh, reviews. So stay tuned for that. As always, let me know what you guys think of the House of M uh, book in the comments below. Did you like it? Didn't you like it? Your thoughts on the artwork, the story interest in the series continuing hope that, that some of this will ramificate into the new marvel let me know in the comments below and while you're down there there's links to a bunch of stuff i feel like i'm trying to change this up a little bit because even i'm getting tired of the robotic endings here but comicfrontline.com we got daily stuff there zone4podcast.com we try to give you guys as much content as we can on there and frontline gaming zone is under construction but that is going to be changing very very soon in big ways um but yeah, stay tuned to all that. Stay tuned for more videos right here on Dark Avengers C86. And until then, guys, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in the next review.